All right, we're here at the Royal Sands in Cancun. We're gonna take a tour of 5745 A and B. So just to sort of give you a lay of the land here, uh, the Royals rent these rooms out in sort of three categories. There is a one bedroom suite. That's what the A side is. There is a standard hotel room, that's what the B side is, or there's a two bedroom villa option, which is what my family did, and that is what we're doing here, where they just give you access to both sides and you can open up the connecting door. So, we'll take a little bit of a look around this place. First of all, all the standard security features on the door. Got a latch lock, feels nice and sturdy. Deadbolt, no peephole though. Got a fire map up here, and you can pretty much see just the sheer scale of the villa, though that doesn't really give you a great representation of the property. But it shows you how to get out, and that's the point. So, starting out, we have a kitchen. You can see this is pretty much a full-service kitchen. We have a regular range, stovetop, microwave, all of which looks spotless, coffee maker. If anything's going to be dirty, that's typically it. And boy, we are looking pretty good. Yeah, so far they're knocking this one out of the park. Got some complimentary waters. That's nice. Sink looks like you could eat out of it. Got some dish towels over here. Got our toaster. Oh man, I found a crumb in the toaster. Got them. No, but really, this is a exceptionally clean kitchen for a rental unit. Typically, if there's any place where grime is going to show in one of these, it's the kitchen. So far, they've done a pretty spectacular job. But let's look at the fr oh, well, yep, I jinxed it as soon as I said that. Don't know what that is. It doesn't look too pleasant. Also, we have the last guest ice in here, so I guess they missed the freezer. So, I think they missed the whole fridge, too. <laughs> Look at that, the second I was saying good things, like the instant. Well, they left us some useful things. We've got some sodas, some unopened waters. Then there's some open junk down here. Got some leftovers. Huh. That's a crazy thing to do so well in the rest of the room and totally miss the fridge. Who would have guessed? Um, I'll have to go through that fridge with more of a fine tooth comb. Not going to complain too much because some of what's in there actually looks usable. Pretty nice cookware for a rental. And this all looks pretty good. So far, the fridge is our only oversight. I like this tile backsplash too. That's kind of cool. Anyway, let's take a look at the rest of the room and see if we find any other missteps. So, very nice and inviting when you walk in. You know, the decor is very traditional and homey. A little bit of an ocean flare with the, the green tones going on in here. I actually like the fact that they put some dimmer lights in these lamps. I'm sure this is a lot more pleasant at night when you're sitting in here. Nice color tone too. Got our sofa which is not a pullout, but I just remembered why it's not a pullout when I looked at the other side of the room. Uh, this room actually has Murphy beds in it. That's what this cool built-in where the TV is. So these two sides pull down into twin beds. Just flip the feet out there and they even have it made up and ready to go. So if you have a big family, you can make it happen here. There's another cool design choice with that where they actually took these bathrooms and set them up so the, the bedrooms have their own, you know, door. But they made it so you can, you know, have privacy while you're sleeping and the people in the living room and the Murphy beds could still come in here and use the bathrooms without disturbing you because both of them are set up that way. Ceiling fans are a nice touch in the tropics too. Let's go take a look at the patio before I get too far in depth here. Nice sliders. They don't look brand new either. It's a sign of good maintenance. Stuff like this tends to fall apart next to the ocean, and we are next to the ocean. 
Actually, all the patio furniture out here looks pretty nice. Yeah, everything's in good shape. Very private compared to your neighbors, too. Pretty good amount of seaweed today, but you can't smell it way up here, and it's a pretty view. Beautiful weather. Just a nice day to be here. Nice thing is that we're on the end, so you could even look back and see the pool area for phase two. There's another pool over on the other side of that for phase one. It's all spotless too. Again, how did they miss the fridge? <laughs> anyway. Take a look at the master bathroom. Oh, that's weird. Well, you can turn the kitchen light on and off from inside the bathroom. So anyway, you got this uh, large foyer area. There's a walk-in closet with a robe. Plenty of storage space. I guess these are linens for the Murphy beds, which look nice and clean. I'm sure you could use these as extra linens on the normal beds that's so desired. Got a gigantic safe. Seriously, this thing is enormous. <laughs> the size of this thing. And you can fit just about anything in there. I guess you even get the uh, breaker box for the room in here. Got your iron and ironing board. Nice big closet. Sink area over here. Oh, okay. oh, here's the switch for this one. So, a little more on the dated side than the rest of the room, but still nice. It's kind of funny you get a little stool. Get some storage down here. Linen seam of decent quality anyway. Hey, nice bath amenities. So, looking pretty good. There's a medicine cabinet. Oh, they give you a candle. <laughs> That's probably meant for if the power goes out, honestly. <laughs> I've had that happen plenty of times in Cancun. Bathroom is, uh, construction in here is rock solid. Really, this whole place. Got like these marble floors, floor to ceiling tile. They built this to last. Looks nice and clean. Very wide toilet that also looks nice and clean. I'm going to take a better look, like if I'm going to run the water anywhere, I'll run the water in the one I'll be using. Anyway, master bedroom, another ceiling fan, nice tall ceiling. Furnishings all look very nice. I will tear the bed apart in my room. But yeah. Also, each room in here, like the living room and both bedrooms, have their own climate control. They've got like a central chiller system in this place. So let's go over to the B unit. B for me, because this is where I'm staying. Basically a carbon copy of the other bathroom, except mine's got the room entrance in it. Smaller walk-in, but pretty much the same deal. Uh, that probably has a light switch somewhere. There it is. More extra linens. Maybe these are meant for the beds, because there's two. I got a smaller safe, I guess. Still, I, I shouldn't say small. Like I get a normal size safe instead of the enormous one. Plenty of storage space in here. This bathroom, same deal. Same old, same old. Shower curtain is in very nice condition. This is all nice clean. Decent water pressure. It's already hot. Yeah, not a lot to complain about here. The B unit also gets a small kitchenette area. <laughs> I guess I get my own toaster and coffee maker. Give you some more starter supplies. I wonder if this fridge got cleaned out. I don't know if this is them stocking it or if this is leftover stuff because that's basically the same lineup that was in the other fridge. Not quite sure on that one. Anyway, this is all on open, so whether it's intended to be here or not, I will take it. Got a little bitty microwave. Spotless and clean. And then this room features two queens. 
It does have a ceiling fan that I turned on, so I don't know why it shut itself off. It's a little bit uh, finicky, I guess. These things don't tend to work that well on dimmer switches, I find. Okay, well, I guess this one either runs at, like, warp speed or nothing. <laughs> so, got a little sitting area, dresser, TV. The B unit's got a very tiny patio that I love that they actually put chairs on. Getting the door open. Maybe another matter entirely. I'm not actually sure which way it's... I mean, this, this is not very well maintained. It's, like, falling off. So... I'll have to look at that some more. But anyway, you can get the basic gist of what this patio is like. Two little plastic chairs. But the view, the view is really nice. All right, we got our two beds. Looks like we have a large throw pillow. Never crazy about throw pillows in hotels because they typically don't get cleaned. That said, this one does not look bad. Same material as its little sash on the bed. So I guess we have like sort of a coverlet bedspread kind of thing. It's not really much of a cover. And then sheets. Now I see why they put blankets in the closet, because I will definitely be grabbing one of those blankets, because this really isn't much of a blanket. <laughs> I know it's the tropics, but that's a little silly. The sheets are nice, though. Good quality. Nice pillows. Be nice to see, like, you know, three or even four per bed instead of just two. Mattress seems pretty decent. Funny enough, I don't think this is, yeah, this isn't even a fitted sheet. So I'm not going to pull this apart and completely mess it up. Because I don't really want to remake it because I'm actually sleeping in this bed. But, uh, kind of a weird mixed bag on that. Like I said, I mean, I, I feel like if they made it with the blanket, I wouldn't really be saying anything. But it's an odd choice just doing like this and calling that a bedspread. But with a blanket, it would be fine. So. I think overall, this place is looking pretty strong. With just a few oddities. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments as always. Hope you enjoyed this tour of kind of a unique room. And that is it.